Hello, Chef here. Once again, another recipe for you, the viewer. I'd like you to try this recipe and come back and leave some comments. Tell us how it goes and what you think. So, I'm using oranges in this recipe. That's your first clue right there. All right, that's a beautiful little navel orange right there. However, I've already prepared my oranges. Uh, one of the tricks in uh, gourmet cooking is preparing your mise en place ahead of time. Basic preparation. So, a couple of the things I'm using are citrus, lemon, limes, and oranges. So, this is what I got already, ready to go. Lime, lemon, orange. I'm using the orange zest. Now, if you're wondering how I got the zest, it's real easy. I'm using a uh, grater like this, just a good quality grater, and I'm just gonna zest like that and get the nice slices. That right there is the zest. I've already done this ahead of time, so I'm ready to go with my zest. So follow along. Here we go with this recipe, and it's gonna be good. This is an island pork recipe, and we're starting with uh, pork tenderloin. I wanted to show you what I got. Got two beautiful pieces of pork tenderloin, uh, product of USA, very important to me. Uh, this was $2.99 a pound. Uh, it's a good deal. Six bucks. Little change there. All right, so I'm going to prep my pork out. It's very, very simple. Uh, because it's an island recipe, I've decided to use one of my very expensive handmade Japanese knives here. Yeah, that's a Santoku from Japan. Really sweet. And what I'm going to do here is just open this up very carefully. Don't want to waste any of it. I'm just going to take this pork and set it down like this. Moving right along here, I'm going to remove the silver skin. Very, very easy, very quick. And once I get this removed, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to uh, marinate. Yeah. And marinade and I can see right now ah chef has selected the wrong knife yeah maybe I did that on purpose what you need is the right knife for the right job and of course boning knife boning knife gets let, lets you get underneath that silver skin very very easily like this and you can go back and forth so I like to change change it up a little for you and show you the the tools and why it's important so you can uh, get get cooking the right way there we go so I've got the silver skin off now that's important stuff's tough tough it's like chewing rubber bands don't want any of that rubber bands in my food uh, I like to remove a little more of this fat just like this okay this one's good to go now the other one I'm gonna move on to him in just a minute so this one here, ready to go. I'm going to take the knife and I'm going to cut about halfway through like this. I'm looking for a nice uniform, a nice uniform thickness. And I use my hand, palm of the hand like this. Okay, now this piece looks a little ridiculous for a serving. This is where the Santuco comes into play. So for a serving, I might be using smaller pieces like this, maybe four ounces or so. So just like this right here, I got three cuts. These are going to get marinated. We're good to go. While my meat is laying on the butcher block, ready to go, perfect time to season it. A little bit of sea salt, not too much, and a little bit of fresh ground black pepper, not too much. But I do want those flavors to penetrate. Important in uh, cooking that you follow the right methods. So right there you can see the pork, it's looking good, it's ready to go. Now let's move on to the marinade. OK, 
Okay, for the island pork, this is very, very easy. I've got a stainless steel mixing bowl. Thick, high quality stainless steel bowl. Yeah, your sponsor's got all this stuff here. All right, I've got star anise. I'm only gonna be using one piece. This is very, very strong. I want you to see this. It's really, really good. You can score it at your sponsor. Uh, same thing with the uh, diced dried shallots. I've got about two tablespoons of shallots here. You can get them at your sponsor too. Soy sauce. So the soy sauce goes in the bowl first. With soy sauce, I'm using about two tablespoons and I'm gonna use a little bit more water. So to the two tablespoons, I'm gonna put about four tablespoons of water right in the bowl like that. Uh, shallots go in. Uh, star anise. To release the flavor, you wanna bust it up a little bit. Just like this. Goes right in the bowl. Oh yeah. Wow, it's gonna be good. It's got a very lemony, pungent, strong taste. There's no other spice on earth that tastes like star anise. You gotta try it. Okay, uh, I'm wanting to put about a half a cup of coconut milk, although I ran out. I don't have any coconut milk. Powdered coconut. So this is actually powdered coconut milk. It's the same thing. Putting that right in there. I want the coconut flavor. Garlic, of course, I've got uh, Thor's hammer. Just give it a smash and the garlic goes right in like that. A little bit of peel won't kill you either. You want to work quickly here sometimes. So the garlic goes in. Yeah, looking good. Uh, citrus, we mentioned uh, lemon, lime, orange. The lime's going in like this. Smash it right up, yep. Lemon too, smash it right up. And for orange, you can use orange juice if you've got it. I'm using orange zest. I'm gonna put about a teaspoon of orange zest. That's all I need right there to get the flavor of the orange. That's what I'm looking for. All right, this marinade's looking really, really good. You can stir it up, use a spoon, use your fingers, whatever you like. Uh, it's good to go for me. I like it. Oh, smells really, really good. Yeah. All right, ready for the pork. So the pork, it goes in all at once. However, you want to coat each side. That's what you want to do there. Looking for a good full flavor on the pork. This marinade, by the way, is going to penetrate over the next uh, 48 hours. I'm not going to grill this pork. This is going to be grilled outside most likely. Uh, weather's a factor always. But I want to get the full flavor of this marinade. And to do that, I'm looking for 48 hours. Okay, this is looking really, really good. Uh, one more chef tip for you here. Rub your garlic all over the meat. Yeah, rubbing the meat. Uh-huh, okay. Now, you wanna smash it down into the bowl like this. Mm-hmm. You can even give it the, the punch if you like to. Just get it down in the bowl. Uh-huh. And then, I'm always washing my hands as I go here. I'm gonna put a piece of plastic wrap over the top and I'm gonna put a weight. Now, if you don't have a weight, you can improvise and use, you know, a, a brick, a stone, uh, measuring cups, whatever you got. But I want a little bit of a weight on there. So another trick would be to put a mixing bowl on there or even a, a pan cover or something like that. I just want to press it down. All right, that's it. This is going in the refrigerator. I'll be back.